terms of the, uh, the national title. I think they were playing a little bit under wraps. Green punches in now to Walker, who goes to work, and it's blocked by Mills. And there is Lemiel Robinson. So with a five-point lead, which is big in a championship game, now a block, and Michigan comes out with its first opportunity. Everything going the Wolverines' way right now. Rice missing on the three. Morton reaching in on Buck. Fouled in. Now, one of the things that both of these teams do so well is come over from the weak side to help out whenever the ball goes in the post. And you can see Mills coming over to help out when he realized that Vaught was beat on the inside by Walker. A great block and turned it right into offense for Michigan. No spacing there to get the ball to Mills. Mills hits the turnaround. And it's 39-32, a seven point lead, the biggest of the night for the Wolverines. That was a smart play by Robinson. Once he dumped in, he realized Mills had no room to operate and took his man down under the basket. Michigan now at three-point land and foul on the inside by Ramos, his second. Brent, very unusual the way these two teams are playing. Seton Hall averages 14 three-pointers a game on the norm. Tonight, that was their 15th three-point shot already. On the other hand, Michigan has been a great three-point shooting team, but so far tonight, they have only taken three, which is really out of character for these two clubs. And Cooper will replace Morton. Strictly due to foul problems right there. Again, that works out a little bit, in my estimation, in favor of Michigan. Because you don't have to guard Morton's one-on-one -on -one penetration. So it's a block and foul against Michigan that time. You saw Rice again trying to rub Gaze off the of ball. And Brent, I think you're right on the money. Gaze playing Rice is not only having to chase a great score and have his mind set on him, but he's getting pounded by those big screens set by the Michigan inside people. Really, that foul was on Vaught. They try to get it in low to Ramos, who comes up, and this time he gets it put down, and he'll move to the free throw line after Wolf Mills picks up his second. Come on now, a thousand-point scorer at Seton Hall. Good job getting the ball down inside. And even though they've got people reaching for the arms, he shows that tremendous strength to put the ball back up inside. So a three-point play for Carlissimo. Nine points for Ramos. It's 39-35. Michigan's turn. Now they've got Cooper on Rice. Rice steps out with Cooper chasing him, and that's a two-point field goal. Fifteen Glenn points Rice. for Glenn Rice. Green goes all the way, comes up short, run down in the corner by Rice, sends it deep to Robinson. Here's Mills, over to Bott, and a beautiful pass from Mills, who threw a blind pass on Saturday to Sean Higgins. So Mills continues to play with some enthusiasm under Steve Fisher. And we're talking about a guy getting out at the break at six foot ten. They wanted Walker, they've turned it over, bought to Griffin, and here's Robinson, and the Wolverines suddenly in control. He is so tough to handle on that break with that big upper body strength. Glenn Rice turns around, makes the perfect pass. It had to go up court so Robinson could get it. And there's the great pass by Mills. Not only the great pass, but how about the way he stepped off to the right-hand side to make sure the charge could not be called. Smart play by Mills. And the third personal on Gaze as Robinson will shoot two. Ramil, a third-team All-Big Tenor this year, sure to be a preseason All-American type candidate next year. Michigan leading at 44 to 35. Why would Mazda engineers create a 4x4 that's as much at home on city streets as it is on mountain trails? Well, they know things can get a little rough out there. Even if the only place you're going is home. And right now, you can take home $750 cash back on all Mazda trucks.
express mail from your post office has a whole fleet of 727. We deliver, we deliver. A guaranteed morning delivery. We deliver, we deliver. And an overnight price of just $8.75. We deliver, we deliver. Speed, convenience, price. It's a package only we can deliver. Express mail from your postal service. We deliver for you. can come down for a face-to-face. -face. Hi, Philip. I need you here for some planning meetings. Just let me know when you're Business scared. is tough. The least your airline can do is make sure that business travel is easy. That's why United offers the most service across the U.S. and the Pacific. United, rededicated to giving you the service you deserve. Come fly the friendly skies. Hey, Phil, I sure hope you haven't unpacked your bags yet, pal. Wednesday. What is your sign? Jesse meets an out-of-this-world Terminator, whose idea of a hot date could be a real killer. Hard time on planet Earth, Wednesday. Well, there is Bill Walton, who played one of the most spectacular championship games ever. That was for UCLA. He hit 21 of 22 against Memphis State in a victory by the Bruins. That game was played in St. Louis. Tonight, the star of the game has been Ramil Robinson. 15 points and 6 assists. He has not rested a minute in either Saturday's semifinal or tonight's championship game. Now Green, who is trying to find daylight against him, slips inside this time and comes up with a field goal. His first of the second half. Fred, I see a little bit of change in Seton Hall the last two times down the floor. Ramos has picked up his intensity. Green likewise. They're going to need it as Vaught steps out and bangs it home. And it's now eight for Lloyd Vaught. A lot of people thought Vaught two years ago would be just a journeyman player at Michigan. He developed into a third-team all-big tenor and a great perimeter shooter. Cooper thought about it. Gaze will take the three. Still can't find the range. Vaught yanks off the miss. Griffin is getting that hand at six foot six right up in Gaze's face. Bryson three. What a stroke that is. 18 for the evening. Take that smile out of your face. Well, he steps back a little bit on his jump shot, so even if you think you're there, he's fading away instead of going straight up in the air, and it's hard to block. Green coming down for the corner, has lost it. Michigan with the turnover. And the Wolverines, who are five of six from the field this half, come back down with their seventh grip. Fred, I think Seton Hall is going to have to go inside and show they can get some inside game going because so far they've been working strictly on the perimeter. Griffin got that tip shot. Started every game for Michigan. Only averaging under, averaging under three a game, but valuable. Well, a physical difference beginning to show in this game. That size on the inside that the Wolverines possess becoming a huge factor now. There's a case where Ramil saw Walker coming over from the weak side to defend. He's got to swing that ball over to get a little better angle. Both teams very, very well coached. You think that uh, Carlissimo needs to just go to the inside game? Yeah, they've got to get back to the inside. They're settling so much on the perimeter, which has not been what brought them to this national championship game. Got to start pounding it down in there. Weiss tries to run it down, and Griffin quickly hustles to it. Getting all the loose balls. Boy, they look sharp. Goes over to Seton Hall. They are down 49-37. Okay. Let's talk about going inside. They've got Walker and Ramos. You need to let them get down in that double low box and start hitting the ball inside, son.
reminder that at the conclusion of tonight's championship game, we'll select the Chevrolet player of the game, and in conjunction with that award, Chevrolet will donate $1,000 to the general scholarship fund of both Michigan and Seton Hall.
give him another break here, use the commercial to rest him, and maybe run him right back in. Let's see what he elects to do. We're going to take a break and come right back. Bob, as your accountant, uh, I have a confession to make. Yeah? What's that? I'm jealous of your financial condition. <laughs> Just look at the dividend performance of your Northwestern Mutual Life Insurance Policy. I picked a winner, didn't I? You sure did. Look at this. Hmm. Northwestern Mutual has been a consistent leader in dividend performance going back 50 years. They've done it more times than any other life insurance company. <laughs> now you can see why I'm jealous. I imagine Northwestern Mutual's competition feels that way, too. Billy is just bad. He come under the viaduct with his Reeboks and his boys. They call him Showtime, and he is the show. Stays in the air just as long as he wants to. Once, he raised on Big Ten. I mean, straight up, and just hangs there. Then fires the sweet jumper, spreads his arms, and I believe he said, I shoot like a god, right in Tim's face. When the new legends are made, they'll be wearing Reeboks. Beating the Honda Prelude could be a challenge, but look at it this way. This sporty Mazda MX-6 beats it by over $2,500. Its warranty covers you for an additional 14,000 miles. The MX-6 has far more room inside. And right now, it comes with $750 cash back from Mazda. How's that for a good reason to make the move to Mazda? See your local Mazda dealer today and get $750 cash back on MX-6. Well, the Michigan players are contributing here themselves. Looking for Neil Robinson. Get right in Caleb's face to tell him what he thought about his defensive effort that last trip down the floor. There, Helen and Lewis Ford who raised the young man back in Massachusetts and so proud of what he's accomplished. But they face a very tough defense, Billy, down the stretch. Well, they do. Uh, Seton Hall has been tough down the stretch, and you need notice that Vermeil is still on the bench. I think, as I said, I think it's a smart move by Steve Fisher. He's still up around the double-digit mark. He knows he's going to need him for that last six minutes. He'd like him to be rested and probably go as long as he can here with him on the bench if he can keep the lead. Rice on a cut. Keeps going. No traveling called on that move. And 20 points for Glenn Rice. Now it's Gaze who's been very quiet. Giving it up. Back over to Morton. Gaze with only two free throws in the game. He's missed all four of his shots from the field. Here he is looking to get on the board. Taking Griffin on the inside. Electing not to go through with it. And it'll be Morton who'll step up. And Avent underneath. Got a roll that time. And that's their first field goal down on the inside off the bench. Brent, I, I cannot understand why Seton Hall has abandoned the punch in the ball inside. Because when they punch it in, that's how Gaze gets open when people try to slough off. He has been a non-factor tonight. Because Seton Hall has been constantly using the perimeter game. Robinson waiting to check back in. Fisher cannot wait any longer. Well, he's going to give him a, it's going to be a mount to about a five-minute rest here before he gets back in. It's, it's a different playing. team without Ramil Robinson. That's for sure. 53-45, ten and a half minutes. And now Seton Hall can apply a little pressure if they can come away with a successful trip this time. Amen. Goes to work on the inside, and the blocking foul is called. And Ramil Robinson set to check back in. There was a case where Hughes did not move his feet on that defensive play because Avan had already committed himself to the point where there wasn't much he could do but take a bad shot. Ramon Ramos coming back into the game. Five team fouls against Michigan, only three against Seton Hall. Green coming down and Ramos collapsing to the floor and the foul is against Griffin. That's his third personal foul. Getting tough underneath, Billy. It is, and Mills is going to come back in. You can see good help again from the weak side. Ramos goes up and just powers the ball down against Vaught and Griffin. Hughes goes out, Mills comes back in, so they gain about a two-inch advantage inside. Both teams just straight hard-nosed man-to-man the entire night. Nothing complicated, but a lot of good hard work and good defensive teaching. David staying on the floor with Ramos. Morton off a of fake. Higgins right there fouled him. That's his.
his second. So reminded that the Masters begins Thursday and at 11.30 p.m. Thursday and Friday. You can watch highlights and then, of course, weekend coverage on Saturday and then the final round on Sunday afternoon. Walker on the floor with Ramos. P.J. now has his starting lineup intact back on the floor. If they're going to make a run, they've got to make it over the next couple of minutes. Billy, they're doing a much better job defensively on Glenn Rice. Rice has hit only one of his last six field goals. That defense that has been the trademark of Seton Hall now starting to surface here. Well, he's 53-47. He's sitting down right now, so Steve Fisher didn't want to have Rice and Robinson out at the same time. He's got, he wants to give Rice a couple of minutes as well. Look at those Seton Hall fans now getting into it. They punch in low now. Mills trying to get it done. And it was a hell ball. Possession arrow, Michigan. Excellent defense by Walker. Watch Walker. He uses his body, uses his lower legs, does not foul. Mills goes up. Now Rice has to come back in. Steve Fisher on both the Rice substitution and Robinson would like to have had at least another minute or so for both of them to sit on the bench, but he can't afford it now. Well, they got the 10 minute run to go. Higgins hoists a three. Three point basket by Big field goal for the Wolverines. Seton Hall was closing back in when Higgins hit that three near the nine and a half minute mark. The young man's had 14 and 31 in the regional game, so he has come on very strong for Michigan after a drought at midseason. So from the Kingdom in Seattle with Billy Packer, I'm Brad Musburger. This is the national championship game on CBS between Michigan and Seton Hall. Michigan moving ahead in the first half. They have maintained that lead. Their biggest lead of the game was 12 points. Mike Griffin leaving because of the fourth personal foul. And Caleb, number 13, you can see on his jersey, has replaced him, and this is John Morton. That means that Robinson and Caleb matched up with Morton in green. Puts Rice back out on Gaze, so Rice going to have to work a little bit. Maybe they'll keep Higgins on him so Rice can be fresh, but then he'll have to go down inside and play a walker. So some tough matchup decisions right now for the Michigan coaching staff. Missing the free throw. Rice with control. And key player for Michigan tonight, bringing it down, Ramil Robinson. He's played a great game. Rice rubbing off that double low down inside. Bill sends it back to Caleb. They wanted Rice. Walker got out on him. Scoop back up. Michigan underneath. Mills can't get it to fall. And Ramos is there. Now it's off into Green's hands. Green penetrating. And there's a foul going against Michigan on the inside. And that will be the second on Caleb. Friend, on the other end of the floor, you just, you'll never see it in the stats, but Walker showed some of the great defense of guarding and helping out on that last play to prevent Michigan from getting what could have been an easy basket. Billy, this game is starting to change a little bit. Yep, you can feel it. And it's because of the defensive effort of Seton Hall right now. Well, you've got a situation for Michigan. It's time maybe to go back to Ramil Robinson on some penetration. He did it so well in the first half, but he's not been able to do anything here in the second half with the ball. First half, you had uh, Ramil Robinson with 14 and Glenn Rice with 13, but they both have been cooled off some. Mr. Carlos Sabo has uh, six other children in attendance. There are 10 children in all, seven of them have made their way to Seattle. A little push. Push underneath. Will go against Walker. That's his first personal foul. And for the team, that's the fourth on Seton Hall. And Michigan is up over the limit. Now, Michigan has hit against this defense only three of its last 14 shots. That's 21% right now. And they need to get something done. And Seton Hall only has three team fouls, which means they've been doing it just with solid defense. Field goals was Higgins' three-point shot. Now he backs in Gaze. He'll take another one, forcing it up. 
and Ramos can't get the handle on it, and uh, Mills takes it off Ramos and out of bounds. So Ramon Ramos continues to struggle. He normally he has some of the best set of hands in the Big East, and uh, Bo Schembeck was studying that clock, seeing eight and a half minutes up there. Well, Ramos, six forty-nine. Ramos probably saying that play is illegal down in Puerto Rico on our national team because in the international ball you can't throw it off a man back out of bounds. Rice got a hit. Walker gave him just a hair room. That's all he needs. So the inability to hold on to the ball underneath the basket really cost Seton Hall. Now it's Walker who comes back. He has scored eight points, and it's still an eight-point lead by Michigan. And with Caleb on the floor, you notice Robinson not having to handle the ball so much, so he's not wearing himself down. For the last four minutes or so, you can expect to see him with the ball. On the penetration, couldn't hit it. Yanked down by Green. Robinson fell. He won't be back defensively. Green dishes off now to Morton, and Morton is fouled by Caleb, and that's Caleb's third personal. Now the move that Steve Fisher's got to be thinking about making is Caleb out. He's going to come back in with Griffith, but it's going to be for Higgins. He's trying to play with his three ball handlers now. I would expect to see a little more power back in there shortly. The Seton Hall starting to get some advantage inside. Really, the way uh, Neil Robinson turned in that Iron Man performance in the first half, and we see how well Glenn Rice has scored six tournament games. When Bill Bradley set his record, uh, the senator from New Jersey played in five games. So Rice had the advantage of an extra game as Cooper checks in off the Seton Hall bench. Senator Bradley sent Seton Hall a good luck telegram tonight before the game, which uh, which the school showed me. And they said, you know, the last time a New Jersey school got into the uh, Final Four, they were beaten by Michigan. And, of course, that was Princeton, which yep. uh, Bradley played. Well, Senator Bradley and Senator Lautenberg in New Jersey got a little bet going. I didn't know they wagered on Capitol Hill. They've got a, a bet going with uh, Senator Regal and Levin from uh, Michigan. And listen to the bet. If they lose, if Seton Hall loses, they get a case of M&M's. I mean, uh, come on, guys. Let's, uh, and, and if it goes the other way, some Verner's ginger ale go to the senders from New Jersey. So big wager in Capitol Hill. Walker watching the successful free throw. It's down to six, 59-53 now with 7.42. They want it with There's a defense. Ramos up with it, and Morton coming back in the middle now. Morton will try to go all the way.
side away from the ball and Higgins was defending Morton and Higgins fouled him. That's his third personal down away from the ball. Not something you'd want from a bigger man against a guard posting him up down there. You're going to see a situation here where Seton Hall now starting to go ahead and run that good picking game down inside and Higgins just goes right ahead and grabs Morton. No way you get away with that foul. services. You think that you're saving 20 to 30% with another carrier. 
We want you to try AT&T Pro Watts. We'll waive the installation charges, waive the change charges, and if you're not satisfied and agree that we have the best value, price, and quality, at the end of 90 days, we'll pay to put you back on your other long-distance vendor. You can save 10 to 38% on AT&T Long Distance. Call us, 1-800-222-0400. And a whole lot of driving excitement. That's Pontiac Sunbird. Now get 2.9% GMAC financing or up to $900 cash back for first time buyers. Stand up! Critics rave over dead calm. Imaginative, full of surprises. It will send your pulse sky high. Lex Reed. Mesmerizing, terrifying, fascinating. Jeffrey Lyons. And WNCN Radio declares it will knock you out. A spine-tingling, hair-raising film that's not to be missed. Dead calm. Rated R. Starts Friday, April 7th at a theater near you. Steve Fisher, the next 407 could be an eternity. He has three timeouts, as does P.J. Carlissimo. No fouls to give. In case of a hell ball, it'll go over to Seton Hall. He took over five games ago from Bill Frieder. And this sign moments ago was raised in the Michigan cheering section. And uh, Angie, seated nearby, certainly would second that thought. I spoke with Bo Schembechler just before it began. There will be no announcement tonight, regardless of what happens, said Bo. He will get the first interview. <laughs> that nice. was it. That's nice of him. And now it is Rice. Over to Higgins. They get it in and work it around the perimeter, bringing each of the big men out here to handle the ball and then send them back down low on the exchange. Mills works his way in now for the good shot. Beautiful play by the Wolverines. Grant is... If Bo would win the national championship in football, would he get the first interview possibility to retain his job as football coach? Oh, give me a point. Traveling. Again, weak side defense. Been there all day long. This is exactly what happened to Danny Ferry when he played against Seton Hall, having a hard time because great teaching of weak side defense. Robinson looks a little fresher now. That little time he sat down helped him. Now he gets in the inside. Lost control. Nice save. Oh, ball hit Morton for a breakout. That was a big moment in this game that has pulled Seton Hall back to within three points. But you see how smart Morton was on this play? He just tapped it enough to get to the teammate and then broke long. That's what it's like to have seniors that have played with each other for four years. They know exactly where they're going to be. He's got a hand on it. Seton holds ball. Three on two now. Green off to the side. Morton hits it again. And Seton Hall back to within one in two and a half minutes. Well, what is save? Michigan walking down the floor with three players. What saved Michigan at this point? Steve Fisher up screaming at his players. Let's start moving. What saved them has been the three-point shot. And there's another one off into Morton's hands. Seton Hall brings Morton, who's been the scoring sensation, up with the layup. 19 points in the second half for John Morton. The Hall's ahead. They've got to go to a timeout. Everybody's walking down the floor. Mills walking down the floor. Steve Fisher is going for the time. It's ever so tough being ranked number one and not being ranked. Playing the game without getting gamey would assist me as right guard sports stick from Gillette with its maximum protection and aromatically airy scents. It's the essence of good gamesmanship. After all, when one is capable of home runs, why play foul? 
Great Guard Sport Stick, deodorant, and antiperspirant. Anything less would be uncivilized. Inside this briefcase are the simple tools that enable your authorized Mercedes-Benz dealer to do what no other dealer in the world can. Used skillfully, these instruments can help negotiate no down payment, lower monthly payment lease terms on select models. Why drive anything else when a new Mercedes-Benz is more affordable than ever before? A new leasing plan on a new Mercedes-Benz for a limited time only at your authorized Mercedes-Benz dealer. Play Scrabble at McDonald's, the game with over 70 million prizes. Enough for one out of three people to win. First, get your board and game piece. How do you win? Easy. Just match your game pieces to the letters on the game board or win instantly. What could you win? One million dollars and lots of other prizes like delicious McDonald's food and vacations to Disneyland to experience Splash Mountain. So now what? Hurry down and play the Scrabble game at McDonald's. I won! This is the graphic that we showed you earlier. The Seton Hall defense down the stretch. A few field goals they allow each of these teams. And now over the last 13 minutes, Michigan only 6 of 23. John Morton has exploded, scoring 15 of Seton Hall's last 22 points and putting them up, Billy, by 1, 67-66. Red, the ball's got to be in the hands on this time down into Glenn Rice. He's got to touch it some to see if he can get off a decent shot. Green tightening up on Ramil Robinson. Good step out by Morton to prevent. Five seconds. It goes over to the hall. That was Morton that made the play. Rice had come off the double screen, and Morton stepped out to prevent that pass and created the five-second call. He's doing it on both ends of the floor. Now Green, who is celebrating his birthday today, bringing it up to the attack. And what a birthday party this could be. Morton stepping out. Double high stack now by Seton Hall. Going to make Michigan chase them for a while, which is really going to wear down Glenn Rice. Nice piece of coaching here by P.J. Carlissimo. Morton cut off by Mills, so he'll send it back deep to Green. You know, when you have a good free throw shooting team, you don't mind hanging on to the ball and using some clock. Because even if you go to the line, you're in good shape. Walker putting it down, and the foul is called. And that on Vaught is number two. Michigan's over the limit. So we're shooting one and one, and Seton Hall, a good free throw shooting team. Brent, some of the key things, the arrow pointing in favor of Seton Hall on the next tie-up situation. Also, both teams will be in the one-and-one. One. As we said, Seton Hall with a very experienced club, their regular starting team out there now, and a great club on the foul line.
Volkswagen's financing assistance plan can help. You say you can't afford a new car. We say you can, because Volkswagen's new financing assistance plan can help you save up to $1,500 on a Volkswagen. That's great, but you want something different. So, we've also included Wolfsburg Limited Edition models in the financing assistance plan. Thank goodness your local Volkswagen dealer can help. Imagine if there were virtually no limits to how large your company could grow and still communicate effectively. Imagine being able to protect your communications investment, even as you expand and expand and expand. AT&T introduces Definity 7585, a new communication system so advanced it is literally impossible to outgrow. President Bush attacked the budget deficit tonight in a speech Inflation before Congress. Inflation concerns swept Wall Street today as reports... Proposed. The Dow Jones average seesawed Jones. all day, closing up. The new administration's proposed budget puts less Change. emphasis on the... Change. Twists, turns, the unexpected. To protect your financial security, you have to trust someone who knows how to deal with change. Perhaps that's why investments with Merrill Lynch grew by $40 billion last year. Merrill Lynch, a tradition of trust. Michigan leading by one point as Glenn Rice, with gaze right in his face, hit the three-point basket that made him the all-time Big Ten scoring leader. And more importantly, from Michigan's standpoint, has them on the brink of winning their first ever national championship. The last four of his five field goals have been three-pointers. He has been brilliant here tonight. Now it'll be Sean Higgins, Billy, at the line. A good free-throw shooter percentage-wise, but just a rookie. Let's think of some of the possibilities. Got a chance to hit two, put him up three. They still got a three to tie it. So not out of the woods even if he makes both. The front end makes it a two-point lead for Fisher. Higgins' dad, a former professional player, so he's got the good bloodlines. Did Carlissimo give them a play out of bounds if it's successful? We're about to find out. Will they attack right away, or will they go to a timeout? They've got 34 seconds, so plenty of time left on the clock to do a lot of things. Good touch. It's a three-point lead, 34 seconds. Here comes Seton Hall. Think about Gaze right now for the three. And Morton with a hot hand. He'll jack up the three. And Hall blows it! 24 seconds. Time for Michigan. Now Ramil Robinson brings it down, and Fisher will use it. Timeout. At UPS, we're changing the look of the international delivery business. Because now, UPS delivers to every country in Western Europe, the Pacific Rim, Down Under, and Canada. And because we're so efficient, we can deliver your international parcels and documents for fewer francs, yen, or drachmas than other companies charge. An accomplishment we feel deserves a little flag waving. UPS, we run the tightest ship in the shipping business. series from Pontiac. Hatchbacks, four doors, sport coupes. They're quick, responsive, and above all, exciting to drive. Get on your Pontiac and ride! Pontiac, ride! Get on your Pontiac! Rebuild excitement! Pontiac. Now, get 2.9% GMAC financing, or up to $1,000 cash back for first-time buyers. Beale Street in old Milwaukee both mean something great to these guys. Beale Street means a blues festival and spicy barbecue, Memphis style. And old Milwaukee means a great beer. Cold, crisp, old Milwaukee beer and smooth, golden old Milwaukee light. There's nothing like the flavor of a special place in old Milwaukee beer. Old Milwaukee and old Milwaukee light. It just doesn't get any better than this. Yeah. 17 seconds remain. Score is tied because of John Morton, who scored 32 points, Billy, 22 this half. Stepped back behind the three-point line, buried it just as Rice did. Now, with a guy like Robinson, tough man to guard, but he's got to get the ball in his hands first.
good job by Green preventing it from touching it. And there's their last time out. That was, that was bad play by Michigan, not getting a solid screen for Robinson. That's a great color and pageantry of this arena coming down once again in this decade to another great ending in an NCAA championship.
Higgins controls for Michigan. Michigan gets one timeout. They had none, and Seton Hall three. They hit Rice on the inside, and Michigan goes up by two. Well, it was just two seconds too late. <laughs> but the Wolverines will take it, nevertheless. Seton Hall's ball. Seton Hall has not been in an overtime game this year. Michigan been in one, and they won that game against Iowa. In that first overtime game in history, the NCAA, Arnie Perrin back with the Utah MVP, and they won that one. Straight green, it's Gaze bringing Higgins out with him. On the switch, Robinson will take Gaze. And the hot man has been John Morton. Rice watching him. A little clear out for Morton. Takes it into the paint, not there. He and Ramos play catch. Now with the shot clock running down, Gaze bangs in a three, his first field goal of the game, and it came in overtime. And Brenny just hung around out on the side and lulled Ramil Robinson to sleep. examination of the Mercedes-Benz 300E, one automotive journal concluded that it may be the best sedan in the world, and another journal called it a nearly spectacular mix of performance and practicality, the Mercedes-Benz 300E.
Now that it's astonished the experts, let it astonish you. Remember how you used to help your dad wash his car? Kind of a shame they didn't have Armor All back in those days. Armor All protectant for the tires and the dash and the seats. Because we're crazy about cars too. The Honda Lawnmower. It was first with a convenient blade brake clutch, with an automotive type shaft drive, with an easy starting overhead valve engine. It's the first mower good enough to be a Honda.
racing team. The winningest team in off-road racing goes nowhere without craftsman tools. From their durable precision power tools to hand tools that are guaranteed forever. So, make sure it's a craftsman, because you don't want to get stuck with anything else. The test of a great airline is not just how fast it moves you in the air, but how fast it moves you on the ground. That's why at some of the busiest airports in the world, United Airlines offers you the most advanced baggage systems, faster ticketing and boarding procedures, and the most spacious, convenient, efficient terminals in the business. United Airlines. From the ground up, rededicated to giving you the service you deserve. Come fly the friendly sky. Three seconds remaining in the NCAA's first championship overtime since 1963. Emil Robinson, the point guard, they're the parents who raised him in Cambridge, Massachusetts, with an opportunity to put Michigan ahead. It's a one and one. He'll shoot the front end right here and get a second free throw if successful.
a powerful 5 amps that can deliver over 49,000 beats per minute. Ask a man who's used one lately. Nothing beats a Black & Decker. Not too far from that Space Needle here in Seattle. Michigan only three seconds away from claiming its first ever national championship and becoming the first team to win both the Rose Bowl and the NCAA in one year. Now, after the timeout, Fisher will deploy a taller man, Mills, against Ramos. He knows that P.J. Carlissimo cannot change. He's out of timeouts. So Fisher comes up with a big move after that timeout. They're going to have to get the ball over Mills, who will try to Harris the big man on the throw-in. Really like that strategy, Brent.
our first national championship, and uh, the team was magnificent. Steve Fisher did a great job. That's great. Congratulations to you and to Steve Fisher. Back to you. Thank you. All right, Leslie Visser, the decade of the 80s. It's been a decade of championship classics. No better way to close out the 80s than this overtime classic tonight at the Kingdom. Back in a moment. If you're a business spending over $120 a month in long-distance services, and you think that you're saving 20 to 30% with another carrier, we want you to try AT&T Pro Watts. We'll waive the installation charges, waive the change charges, and if you're not satisfied and agree that we have the best value, price, and quality, at the end of 90 days, we'll pay to put you back on your other long-distance vendor. You can save 10 to 38% on AT&T Long Distance. Call us, 1-800-222-0400. It's just a pure and natural beer for you. So icy cold, so crisp, so clear for you. The king of beer, so fresh, so true for you. You got the taste, this buzz for you. from Pizza Hut. Get one medium for $8.99 or two for just $4 more. The Michigan Wolverines are the national champions with a one-point victory over Seton Hall in overtime. And the Pirates' final shot at the end of this game is Coach Steve Fisher has won the national championship. Going the length of the court. And Daryl Walker would have one last shot to try to win it for Seton Hall. 80 to 79 victory for the University of Michigan. And the Chevrolet most valuable players, Ramil Robinson, with the free throws with three seconds left. Gets the honor for the Wolverines. And John Morton, 35 points, the fifth highest total in a championship game for the Seton Hall Pirates. And right now, let's go down to the floor for the award presentation with the public address announcer, Frank Fallon. Your attention, please, to present the championship awards tonight, the chairman of the NCAA Division I Men's Basketball Committee, Mr. Cedric Dempsey. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Division I Men's Basketball Committee, I am privileged to present the 1989 championship trophy to the University of Michigan and the head coach, Steve Richard. becomes the most famous fill-in from the University of Michigan since Gerald Ford. We'll be back right after this. It's ever so tough being ranked number one and not being ranked. Playing the game without getting gamey would assist me as right guard sports stick from Gillette with its maximum protection and aromatically airy scents. It's the essence of good gamesmanship. After all, when one is capable of home runs, why play foul? Great guard sports stick, deodorant, and antiperspirant. Anything less would be uncivilized. 
Play Scrabble at McDonald's, the game with over 70 million prizes. Enough for one out of three people to win. First, get your board and game piece. How do you win? Easy. Just match your game pieces to the letters on the game board or win instantly. What could you win? One million dollars and lots of other prizes like delicious McDonald's food and vacations to Disneyland to experience Splash Mountain. So now what? Hurry down and play the Scrabble game at McDonald's. I won! Perhaps this will count, this scene here, toward the first interview for Steve Fisher. One thinks Bo Schimbeckler must give the coaching job to this man who has brought the national title back home to Ann Arbor. So we closed out the 70s with Michigan State taking home the crown, and we say goodbye to the 80s in college basketball with Michigan being the national champ uh, champions. Michigan State in the 70s closing it out, Michigan in the 80s. And so we say so long to Seattle and look ahead to next year in Denver. A tribute to those individuals who have brought you the sights and sounds of this 51st NCAA tournament. And then our traditional salute to the players and coaches who have given us more than one shining moment.